guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm CJ in SoCal and today I am going to be doing a comparison video between these two lounge fly, well, pink lounge fly Disney Parks backpack. So I have done sort of unboxings of each of these backpacks in the past. I have been wearing these backpacks for quite some time now and now I can honestly say I do prefer one over the other and at the end of the video I'll tell you which one I do like to wear more. Um, first I'll go over, well I guess the major differences in each of the backpacks. Obviously, this is the Rose Gold Lounge Fly Disney Parks Backpack, and this is the Millennial Pink Lounge Fly Disney Parks Backpack. So, aside from the color, which is obvious, um, you'll see that the Rose Gold Backpack has the ears, the mini ears with the bow on the top of the backpack, whereas the Millennial Pink Backpack has the ears and the bow on the top of the pocket. Now the pocket, I mean the, the smaller pocket on the front of the backpack. Now each of the pockets are a little bit different. You'll see that the pocket for the rose gold one is a zipper with the rose gold zipper right here. And then the front pocket for the millennial pink backpack is a flap with a magnetic slap, well magnetic slap, Magne magnetic snap closure. And then you probably saw the fabric on the interior already. But yeah, the Millennial Pink interior um, fabric is the pink bow pattern, the pink mini bow pattern all the way on the inside. And on the rose gold backpacks is the wow, white polka dot with pink background fabric. So those are the two major differences on those as far as design. Both of them do have pockets on the sides. The really small pocket here, as well as the really small pocket on the other side. Uh, the zippers are matching to the color. Rose gold zippers or rose gold hardware on the rose gold backpack, and millennial pink on the millennial, millennial pink backpack. And let's see, the leather on each of them is a bit different, also. The well, it's not real leather, but the faux leather, I guess. The faux leather on the rose gold, it has sort of a almost, it's a metallic finish, obviously, but it has this almost Saffiano like pattern on it. And the millennial pink has a matte pink finish, just like a regular cowhide leather finish no special print or embossing on the faux leather of the millennial pink. <coughs> All right, so the Disney Parks emblem is in black and rose gold here, and the Disney Parks emblem on the millennial pink is in pink and gold there. Now the inside of the bags, of each of the bags are a bit different also. So, the inside of the rose gold one is uh, polka dots, and there is a small slide-in zipper on the inside, on the, on the back of the bag. Now the millennial pink one is the, um, the pink bow pattern, but it doesn't have the back pocket over here. I don't know, I got this in January. I don't know if maybe they might have changed that in the summer because I noticed that they weren't selling in, selling these backpacks in the parks until maybe this summer. It's 2019 still when I'm recording this. I don't know when it'll come out, but when I bought this backpack, it was January. When I saw, when I finally, January 2019, when I finally saw these in the parks, it was summer 2019. So. I don't know if they might have done some kind of new redesign with these because it's funny how this one has the inner pocket 
and this one doesn't so that is that now i i think i did already did like a what fits in my bag for each of these bags oh here not care i think i already did a what fits in my bag for each of these bags back in my initial videos on each of them and i'll link those videos down below but i don't know if it's just me but the millennial pink backpack looks a bit wider like from the frontal view than the rose gold maybe it's just me i don't know if that's some kind of weird illusional effect with the rose gold but let me see let me actually measure this again okay nine inches by maybe four and a half to five inches on the base of the millennial pink and then nine inches yeah and then about four and a half to five inches on the bottom of the rose gold but is it just me this looks wider i don't know if it's the fabric or what maybe the rose gold is just a little bit more structured than the millennial pink uh to be honest this feels a lot softer than this like this feels a lot more firm like firmer than this i don't know if that's just me i don't know if that's just the bag but this bag does feel a lot stiffer than this and i have to say when i first wore this bag the sequin on this bag really scratched up my hands like crazy like okay this one has the flap to open for this front zipper and this one has the the zipper front zipper front pocket and every time i reached for anything in here the sequin on the outside would scratch up my hand so bad even reaching for something in here in the big pocket like at the end of the day i had so many like little micro not microscopic but yeah little like hair hairline scratches on my hands from reaching for stuff in this backpack because the sequins on here are so like so stiff and sharp but i didn't have that much of a problem with this and i don't know why I don't know why this feels softer than this. I mean, they both have like the leather trim around the zippers. So yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny. But um, one thing that kind of saddens me about this is that the glitter that's on the bow peels off quite easily. So I'm, I know I mentioned the glitter in the initial video of this bag but um since i've been wearing it more and more of the glitter has been coming off so i don't know if the video will capture it let me see yeah yeah almost see how so this is the initial rub off of the glitter from the other video i have of this before See, there, I don't know if you could tell, but there's a little bit more rub off on the glitter on this side. So the glitter is starting to come off more and more. And it's showing a little bit more around the edges of the bow too. So that is one thing that is sort of disappointing about this bag. So, which bag do I like to wear more? Honestly, it's the millennial pink one. I mean, even though the glitter on here fades or like peels off real fast just because it's a so it is a softer bag it is a more neutral bag for me it's not so in your face like this one i find that this bag is much easier for me to wear and i think it's like super cute and it, it is like yeah sure it is in a way a little bit flashy but not so much as this one i mean this one is really cute also but it's a little less like wapow than this. <laughs> well, yeah, wait, no, this is a little bit less wapow than this. So, and you know, the fact that this has a flat closure, my hands get a little bit less scratched up when I reach for anything in here instead of this. Cause I tend to like to put like my cell phone in here 
or like some extra change or cat well not cash but you know i like to throw a couple things in here like my lip gloss and, and stuff too and just because this is easier for me to reach for than this and this sequins here scratches scratches me up really bad so yes yes uh, oh by the way p.s these pockets on the sides i find totally useless like what can you put there I've only been able to put like maybe lip gloss in there. I can't even fit water bottles on that side. Like the, the pockets on the side are almost totally pointless. But yeah, yeah. So this is my comparison video of both the Millennial Pink and the Rose Gold backpacks. So if you guys are deciding to buy either or, my personal preference is this one. This is still cute but I have a love-hate with this because it scratches me up like crazy. <laughs> well, there it is. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you are new, please subscribe. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Take it easy.